Hello, y'all. How you doing? <laughs> I'm very, very happy. Like, I'm eating the whole day, and now it's lunchtime. It's actually past lunchtime, but this is my lunchtime. And today we get to eat together. It's so yummy looking and the spoon I need to hold it right up here because it's kind of, kind of dense over to so think that I don't feel like eating anymore I don't know if there's any other place in the entire universe where people cook with so much meat so and you know I feel I feel like it's really a West African thing I feel like it's a West African thing because I've seen a couple of people from other countries and it's like this cooking thing with a lot of meat and spices it's West Africans that are taking it that seriously so I'm not moving from here I'm doing this right in the kitchen I am not moving from here thank you God for this wonderful meal what you see here is very very typical of an African meal and yeah I, I don't think you find this in any other part of Africa apart like from um the northwest region of cameroon there is um they call the they call the the place meta this they call it nantaro which is basically cocoa yams bitter leaf and meat fish you know palm oil all of that cooked together it's time for me to eat it's not time for a lecture what am i even doing yeah so this is very typical and but then there is not such a thing in um um i think in other parts of africa like in in nigeria in, in ghana in ghana they have these sweet potatoes they cook it just like this just that of course it won't be with bitter leaves like so yeah mm. mm -hmm. and so i feel like this is only from this part of africa Cameroon. and it's so nice because you know the bitter leaves have an aftertaste it's first bitter it gets bitter but then it has a sweet aftertaste like if you drink water after eating it, it's so cool like it's so fine talk about things that only happen in africa there is this couple of things i really think only happen in africa i haven't traveled around the world or anything but i feel like I don't think like this doesn't happen in any other place any like it doesn't happen in any other part of the world the first thing is weddings hmm I have to put all of this in my mouth I'm so hungry hmm hmm I feel it in my no my heart is right here I feel it so deep okay guys so i was talking about africa weddings in africa i have to take a seat africa is the only place where you have a wedding you budget for 200 people and a thousand people show up yeah yeah yes where i grew up this is what happens if there is a wedding in a neighborhood bro sis everybody in the neighborhood is invited like we invite ourselves we love you so much so we will do you the favor to show up at your wedding <laughs> so we don't we don't need to be invited like seriously we really don't need to be invited we just need to hear all we need to know is the address when we arrive there we, we will know who you are like we don't need to know who you are we will know who you are when you arrive so there is a tendency of you having like tons of people you don't know at your wedding mm -hmm. weddings are a huge thing people's spend enormously there is a lot of food a lot of drinks and then people come they eat and usually there is a story there was no food there was no drink which simply means that the people didn't go for like the second round which is like yeah events are for food and drink like we didn't come to listen to speeches weddings are a big thing in africa another thing i really feel like a big thing in africa are is um families hmm families in africa so this is it if you meet me on the street and you ask and you meet me with somebody and then i'm like this is my sister this is my brother 
if you're really interested if you want to know why i've told you like 10 different people are my sister or my brother ask me like is he your mother's son is he your father's son because the tendency is it's my mom's friend's son yeah but he's my brother oh he's a neighbor oh we are just from the same hometown yeah that's how it is like we are brothers and sisters like that and um our families are really large like really large it's never really just you and your mom's sisters you and your mom's kids and your father your dad's kids now no first of all we take gift putting to bed as a very like we are very committed to it so we don't give it to one or two kids most of our parents gave birth to like six or seven and right now we have six or seven other brothers who will probably give birth to like four kids and our kids will have to deal with like 60 something <laughs> cousins because they will have to deal with their actual cousins and then my cousins and then my mom's cousins yeah africa so i could possibly not even number all of my relatives and there are some of them that the bloodline goes like e <laughs> miles and miles it's like we really do everything big africans do everything big like if you look at this food i'm eating right now it has it has a lot of well some some food don't really have a lot of spices but typically cook a lot of spices the food is always so spicy it's always so hot there's always a lot of different kinds of them you know you can get in one pot you have beef you have um, um beef skin you have um shrimp you have and um, what else fish mm -hmm. you smoke the fish like it has to be smoked and it's dry it gives a wonderful flavor very wonderful flavor so africans are like we do everything big so big flooding hmm if you show up at an african church you'll be like there was an event like something <laughs> well church is an event but i mean like we take flooding very seriously very very seriously very very seriously africans dress up like how can i explain this you somebody shows up at your events looking more dressed up than you are mm -hmm. so um hmm. this time i put this in my mouth i have this feeling on the inside of me it's so 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 delicious so um we have ashabis like people buy a piece of fabric a particular piece of fabric which is usually colorful it cannot be black or anything like that very colorful and then everybody sews in it so you arrive at the wedding and like a hundred people are in the same fabric this means i'll have to wash my hands to eat it let's try if i can do this if i'm going to do this or embarrass the rest of my honey hmm. i can't really do it hmm. In the West, many people have seen Africa like you know what they see on TV those kids who are uh, no clothes on, hungry looking, all of that. Kids who need to go to school, no water. There are such societies in Africa, that's true. But I mean, <laughs> there are tons and tons of other places where things are happening beautiful things are happening funeral ceremonies oh my goodness you won't believe the person is dead and gone mm -hmm. people spend a lot of money and just like weddings so many people and well that's okay like people come to sympathize with you but i mean like you could have a period of like two weeks cooking and entertaining guests every single day now the good thing is the guests don't come empty and they always come and stop. But I mean like two weeks. Some even go beyond two weeks. Like as long as the person has not been buried, there is a in fact there is a some there is there has to be people coming in and out of your home. There has to be you attending to guests, you receiving gifts. Yeah. Another thing, I feel like Africans are Africans are warm. That's what I say. Like you come into my home and I'm like, have a seat. I cook. I'm not asking when I tell you that I cook and 
I want to give you food. I'm not asking you whether you want to eat. I'm actually, I'm telling you, you have to eat. So you don't have a choice. You don't get to say, no, I don't want to eat. We force you to eat. Like, you cannot come and go without eating. We received guests like that. Receiving guests is a big thing. You know, unlike, you know, the other parts of the world, especially like in the West, you know, you could get a coffee and that's like, in Africa, no, no. If you came to my house right now, I'll give you this. In fact, like, we will already give you some style that I like to be chewing on, and then we'll get food ready for you. We'll give you, and then you have a drink. We'll give you, and then we'll package something and give it to go give the kids at home. Like, <laughs> sometimes we really have an attitude of honor. Like, we all know people. We we don't just call our dads, but it doesn't just have to be in the name. But there is something <laughs> that when your uncle is talking to you, you know. <laughs> everything from how you're looking at him to the posture to how you're responding to him it has everything is like oh hey oh, uncle but something actually ridiculous like not even with your left hand in front of the uh, like in front of an elder or not crossing your legs the idea is good but sometimes like it's, it's way overboard just way overboard go back to this food that i'm eating you should eat this when it's warm and not when it's cold and because I've been talking so much, it's getting cold. I don't think I'm going to eat all of it. This is cow skin. I'll put all of it in my mouth right now. Watch me. Mmm. Mmm. That was a hard one. Don't try that. Don't try it. I'm getting tired of eating. I feel like I've been eating forever. I can't eat anymore, especially the meat and the, especially the beef and the cow skin. I can't eat anymore. Like I've tried, and that means the oh, this video comes to an end. Mm. I hope you enjoyed my meal. I did enjoy it. If you live in Africa, I hope you love Africa. I do love it. If you don't live in Africa, visit Africa. It's a wonderful place. If you have all what you've seen about Africa is sad images, hmm, you have no idea what you're missing. <laughs> Not at all. So, have a wonderful day, guys. Enjoy life. Until next time. Bye.